Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Francis, and I'm gonna teach you how you can make an amazing cake in your slow cooker. So why would you use a slow cooker to make a cake instead of an oven? Well, basically, people are always creative and inventing new recipes, and some people wanted to have a really moist, almost pudding-like cake that you can get in an oven, but it's a little bit more irregular. If you're a fan of really fudgy, rich, super moist cakes, this might be a great process for you. So first things first, whenever you are baking, you wanna make sure that all of your recipe ingredients are fully measured out and at room temperature. This is gonna allow everything to mix together really well and make sure that when you put it in your slow cooker or your oven, it preheats and cooks evenly. So first let's mix together our dry ingredients. You wanna have a bowl that's big enough to be able to mix them all together with enough space. So first we'll add in one and three quarters cup of flour. Then we'll do a teaspoon and a half of baking soda, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Then just grab a whisk and mix it all together so that your salt and your leavening agents mix evenly into the flour. So the next step is to bloom our cocoa powder. And how we're going to do that is take the three fourths a cup of cocoa powder and put it into like a measuring cup. And then we're gonna pour in one cup of boiling water and whisk it together. What this is going to do is bloom the cocoa powder so all of its flavor goes into the cake and nothing is wasted. It activates the cocoa powder. For the wet ingredients, you're gonna have kind of a bigger bowl again and put in your two eggs, make sure that at room temperature, half a cup of oil, one cup of milk, and you're going to add in two cups of sugar, your vanilla extract, then you're gonna mix those all together until they're smooth, and then you're gonna slowly stream in the activated cocoa powder water to give it that nice chocolate look. So here are our dry ingredients, and now I'm going to add in our wet ingredients while I whisk it together. You can do it in batches. So now that your batter is fully mixed, we wanna put it into the slow cooker to actually cook or bake until it's done. Now, uh, what you're gonna do is prepare the basin by spraying the inside with some nonstick spray. And then you're gonna pour the batter in and you're gonna put the lid on, turn it on low, and let it slow cook for at least three hours until there's no more wet spots and that the cake kind of pulls away from the sides. Now keep in mind, I'm just making a very simple recipe that you can find on allrecipes.com, but feel free to do this with your own favorite cake recipe. You also can find tons of different flavors, different combinations of ingredients online. Do whatever you like. This is just to teach you how to do it and for you to make it your own. So have fun. Okay, it's been three hours, so let's check on the cake. You can see how it's still moist, but pulling away from the sides over here. So now I'm just going to turn it off and let it stay and cool down in the crock pot and continue to dry out for the next 30 minutes. You can see how it's fully dried now and it's still moist, but there's no like mushy pudding-like texture or water. And now I'm gonna put some powdered sugar on top. It might make a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. And if you have some fresh berries, you can put that on top too. That would look super nice. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our recipes because we make a ton of great recipe videos and a ton of great new innovative things you can do in the kitchen. And down in the comments below, tell me if you would try making a chocolate cake in your slow cooker and if you would do it maybe a different type of flavor, let me know. And don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great videos we do make. And I'll see you next time. I'm Matthew Francis. Bye-bye.